Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. We are here with another video of Advanced English Part 2. Dear friends, if you are new to our channel, please go and hit the subscribe button and do not fail to like and share the same. We have come up with Advanced English Part 2 and in the previous video, we dealt with few of the sentences. Now, let us have a few more examples of Advanced English wherein we'll be having words and sentences of normal English as well as advanced English. So, let's chop chop. Moving ahead with the very first, normal, I want to ask you a question. So, normally we say this, that I want to ask you a question. Instead, we can now say, I want to pick your brain. Now, picking your brain literally does not mean to go and pick your brain. Pick your brain, it means that we are forcing or we are suggesting somebody to think on something when something is asked, right? So I want to ask you a question can be told or can be said as I want to pick your brain. Let's go ahead to the next one. You should focus. Many a times we come across our studies. Many a times we come across the things which we need to give priority to. So we say that you should focus. Now, instead, we can say you should keep your eye on the ball. That means you should focus. Let's go ahead and let's try another one. You're very kind. This is nothing else but the gesture, which generally termed. You're such a kind person. You're very kind. Now, this can be said as you have a heart of gold. Basically, a person with a golden heart. So, can we can say that you have a heart of gold, right? Let's go ahead with the next one. It's time to sleep. So generally when you chat, when you say something, when you're messaging somebody and we generally say, okay, let me go to sleep or let us go and sleep. It's time to sleep. Now we can say it's time to hit the bed or it's time to hit the hay. Okay. Let's go ahead with the next pun, which is another sentence. He's so fat, which now can be mentioned as his big boned. That means he's so fat. Another example. He's lazy. Now, there's another word for lazy as well, which is lethargic. But we can say instead he's lazy, in the place of he's lazy, we can certainly say that he is a couch potato. And it's not potato, it's couch potato. That's the correct pronunciation of that. Let's go ahead with the next one. I'm scared to do this. I'm frightened to do this. Let's have another sentence for this, which is, I have a cold feet. So I have a cold feet certainly is another synonym of the sentence that I'm scared to do this. You keep quiet when you order someone, when you command someone to stay quiet. Rather, instead we can say, you zip your lips. So zip your lips is another statement for keeping quiet. Let's go ahead and let's deal with another example. I ate a balanced and healthy meal. Now, to short this, we can say, I ate a square meal, which certainly says that I ate a balanced diet or a balanced meal. So, I ate a square meal is certainly an advanced statement and it also attracts your person, maybe your colleague or your friend out there. So, let's go ahead. I'm not sure about it. I'm doubtful about it, right? So, you can replace this and say, I'm on the fence, which certainly means that you're in a fix or you're so you still have a doubt, all right? You talked about everything except this important topic. So many a times, if we lose on something or if we forget something and we say everything else, so how are we supposed to put this across? We can rather say, you talked about everything except the elephant in the room. So, it talked about everything except the elephant in the room means that we spoke about everything else, but we did not focus on the important one, right? Let's go ahead. Stop wasting time. Stop faffing around. So, wasting, faffing is again interrelated and therefore we can say stop faffing around means stop wasting time, all right? Let's go ahead with something more interesting. Why are you so angry? Or we say, why are you so annoyed? Now we can replace this and say, why are you so pissed off or why are you so pissed, right? And I know many of you must be using this sentence in your day-to-day -day lives. 
I'm going to get married tomorrow is a normal sentence out there. But now we can say, I'm going to tie the knot tomorrow or tie a knot tomorrow. You're so lucky. You're so jammy. So lucky can be replaced or we can say jammy instead of lucky. So you're so jammy, right? I'll pay it. So when we go to, let's say, for a lunch or let's say we go to a restaurant and when we say that, okay, let me pay this. Rather, we can say and attract somebody by saying it's on me. That means I'm going to pay this. Let's go ahead to another one. I disagree. It's not in my book. That means I do not agree with your statement. Similarly, no excuses. No ifs and buts. That means no excuses. Let's go ahead with something more. It's easy. It's a piece of a cake. So we can say it's not a rocket science. Even that can be replaced with it's a piece of cake. Another one, I'm so happy. We also say, I'm so delighted. Now let us replace this and say, I'm so exhilarated or I'm so elated. Dear friends, I hope you liked today's video as well. And these were the sentences which we can certainly use in our day-to-day -day lives and mark an impression. That's all. Thank you so much.